Welcome back to Aries Garage. I have been stockpiling car parts for almost a year at this point, trying to get back to making content for you guys. And so we're just gonna jump into everything I have here and talk about some other stuff going on with the channel and just uh, give you guys a quick little update. So to jump into it, content through the years of this channel have has been up and down. Uh, and it hasn't been fantastic for you guys. It's been a journey of really good content, bad content, good schedules, bad schedules, just all over the place. And hopefully that's gonna change moving forward. When I first started this channel, I was in college, really weird place in my life. And last May, uh, I graduated college. And since then, I have been struggling to uh, not find a job or anything, but find myself in a career that I'm happy with. And I have tried you know, the business owning route, working for other people, and it was just finding myself after college, right? College is a really weird point. And due to that, I wasn't able to dedicate the right time and research into the Nova, into the channel, into making content and all this stuff. You guys have gotten to see me do some burnouts, got, got to see me do some stoplight, stoplight stuff, some car shows, nothing as exciting as I promise or as I really wanted to show you guys, because I promise my life is a lot more exciting than the stuff you guys have seen so far. And if it wasn't that exciting, I wouldn't be working with all these brands uh, and I wouldn't continue to try to be making content for you guys. But I promise somewhere in this content is a diamond in the rough. And I believe we have the stuff here to fix that. You guys, like I said, you guys have gotten to see some burnouts, nothing as exciting as I was hoping for, uh, but you guys have gotten to see stuff. You guys have got to watch me fail a lot more than I've won or just you know had a good outcome. But that's just the name of the game, right? That's that's what we signed up for with life, I guess, you know? But we're here now. We have uh, just about everything we need for the Nova to get it back up and running. So just a quick recap of what happened with that. Last July, so July of 2022, I was out cruising with the 327 uh, and everything was going great. It's going good. And I started to feel something going wrong. So I let off the throttle. And then seconds later, the... I just started knocking. Uh, and so I pulled over, got it towed home. I was less than five minutes away from my house and I had to get it towed home, which kind of sucked. But anyways, so we, I, you know, dove into tearing the engine apart, uh, found that one of the rocker arms slipped off, uh, which was my fault. I was running stock style rocker arms, wasn't running any, any precautionary items. Um, no, no push rod guides, no nothing. It was my fault. Um, I should have been a little bit more careful and done a little bit more research with it, especially with trying to build something that revs high. It was my fault. But anyways, so I tried to replace the push rods. The I put a new cam into it. No, I did not put a new cam into it at that point. I'm sorry. Uh, new push rods, new roller rockers. Uh, trying to think what else I tried to do. Uh, put the guides on there, all sorts of stuff. I wasn't able to fix it. Uh, I've torn into the engine since then, and I can't figure out where it, what was causing the knock. Um, the knock did not go away when I replaced those parts. So it is now over on an engine stand, uh, torn apart. It needs to go to a machine shop. That is actually the last phase I have here before I'm ready to start assembling it. I want to send it to the machine shop, have them go through it. Uh, part of the issue with this engine has been that I had this really cool old school guy go through it for me he bored it 40 over for me he, he had a shop it was really cool really cool guy he knows what he's talking about part of the issue that i ran into though is that he was he was older he was probably like 70 years old he didn't communicate a lot i never knew what my compression ratio was because he never let me know what any of the numbers were uh, and so i i just did not know enough information about it as much as i should have but hindsight is always 2020 and i was running dirt iron eagle heads um, so it just wasn't as efficient of a build as it should have been with as much money as I was putting into it, but we're on to bigger and better. So before I jump into the Nova, because I don't have as much stuff for the Camaro here, uh, I do have a lot of other stuff for the Camaro, just not in the shot, uh, or here in front of me, we have starting off, we have some headers. These are two inch headers, three inch collector. Uh, it's going to be great. These are going to go into the Camaro. I have the X pipe form that's going to replace uh, it replaces the factory X pipe and then it's get rid, it gets rid of the cats as well. So all the mid piping, the only thing we're going to be left with is the stock muffler. And you might be saying, Oh, if you're running headers, why keep the stock muffler? Uh, I have something called NPP mode or NPP, uh, on the Camaro, which means I have stealth mode, track mode, all this stuff for the exhaust. So I can change the 
the tones of it and i really want to keep that you know i paid a, i paid extra for it i'm not going to get rid of it just to run some mufflers that cause a drone uh, so we're going to keep that and that way i can put it in stealth mode and don't always have to be loud as can be with two inch headers uh, and then moving on to the nova uh, while i'm reaching for things that are out of shot uh, we have these headman headers these are stainless steel if you guys remember i was running flow tech i don't remember what they're called but some kind of flow tech headers uh, and they they were okay i did some research and turns out they don't flow as good as as they s seem like they do uh, but these are headman headers they're long tube headers they are stainless steel and they look absolutely amazing. Um, they're not gonna, the, if you guys remember with the Flowtech ones, they kept rusting on me no matter what I painted, paint kept burning off. Um, so, you know, ceramic coating works, but um, you know, that was a lot of work for those. So we have these and these are gonna sound a lot better. These are actually, I believe these are one and three quarters. I was running one and five eighths, so they're slightly bigger. Um, so we have those, so I'm excited about that. Uh, moving on to the other things we have here, uh, right here we have the cylinder heads. So uh, these are uh, Speedmaster cylinder heads. They are great people. I, some of, I've made comments and stuff about it, but for the last year, uh, I was trying to work with AFR, not even just from a, you know, give me a discount or a sponsorship or anything like that. Just trying to order a set of cylinder heads for the last year. And I couldn't get through to anyone. Uh, every time I kept working with someone, uh, letting them know, you know, the the numbers I did know about the Camaro, uh, about the cam and all this stuff, uh, those, that person would end up fired and it was just a nightmare. I could not keep any one consistent employee to work with to order the set of heads. Uh, so we had them, uh, so uh, Speedmaster, really great guys. They gave me, they did give me a discount, uh, but on top of it, they also at least answered the phone. Uh, so we're gonna be running those. And then on top of it, we have a uh, new balancer. Uh, this one is gonna be bolted on. The factory one is press on, and that's pretty unsafe for the numbers I'm going to be shooting for, RPM wise and horsepower wise. Um, so when this does, when the 327 block goes to the machine shop, they're going to be drilling and tapping the crankshaft for a balancer bolt. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, on top of that, Speedmaster also helped me get an intake manifold. Uh, I donated my old intake manifold and those cylinder heads. Uh, and so I donated them to someone. And so I needed a new intake, new cylinder heads as well. Um, so this is pretty much the same thing I had before. It's an air gap, uh, mid rise intake manifold. Um, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to run single plane. We can talk more about those in later videos and more breakdown of all these parts. And then the other stuff I have is everything I need to rewire the engine bay and redo everything and kind of tuck it, make it look really nice. You guys know that I'm pretty picky about how I do stuff. So I want to make sure everything turns out really good in here and I want to keep it all clean, nicely organized. And on top of that, somewhere laying around, I have the panel that I need to cover the big hole in the firewall from the AC. You guys did see a video of me and Eli deleting the AC. Uh, and now I have the, eight, the delete panel in order to do that. So we'll cover that up, paint the firewall, do everything um, the right way while we're in there. So that's what's left. Um, as for the C10, uh, drop a comment, tell me what motor you guys would like to see in the C10 and we'll see what we can do. But moving forward, hopefully you guys will see more burnouts and uh, we'll go from there.